mobile home park investing, uh, one of America's best known secrets, um, actually a niche different than multifamily housing. All right, guys, I saw Angelo Christian with another great edition of Real Estate Insider. Uh, today, we're actually going to be talking about mobile home park investing, uh, one of America's best known secrets, um, actually a niche different than multifamily housing. You know, I know a lot of investors that have built empires on mobile home park investing, and it's a great long-term strategy because a lot of people, uh, especially baby boomers, senior citizens, uh, you know, along, you know, states like Florida, they love to retire and be in a mobile home in a park in an area um, because, you know, the cost of living is very, very low and the cap rates can actually be very high uh, because you can get in with a low cost uh, and have stable returns. So mobile home parks uh, are a great thing to consider as an alternative investment to add to your real estate portfolio. Uh, I'm a big advocate of them and I'm always actively looking for, you know, to purchase mobile home parks because you can actually get many different types of financing. You can get bank financing, you can get SBA financing, um, you can even do seller, you know, seller financing or you can do a combination of seller financing and bank financing. And so um, I'm a real big fan of them and I think they're great, especially if you're in a destination area. Uh, such as like, for example, this one that we're going to talk about today, um, actually it was a, a, a $2.9 million uh, mobile home park that we did. And this is actually in Titusville, Florida. You actually see the pictures behind me and an awesome, almost 12% cap rate, uh, whenever we purchased the property and then we made some modifications and changes to it, took it to a 17% cap rate. So it's a wonderful yield out there for investors that are looking, uh, to really add some great you know, alternative uh, low risk investments. You know, a lot of investors are going after multifamily. Well, hey, what about considering mobile home parks? I think, I think they're a great idea. So um, we're gonna kind of go through the math and exactly how we structured this deal here. Um, so the purchase price um, was, you know, 2.9 million. Okay. And so it had a cap rate when we purchased it of, 11.84 percent let's just say let's do 12 percent okay so i'm going to talk about what this means so you guys can understand exactly and then we we converted it to a 17 percent cap rate okay and so um basically we did sba financing 10 percent down okay 5.25 percent interest Okay, let me tell you why this is important too. Um, see, if you have the ability to put money down, um, if you have the ability, it's good to do that because you can boost up your net operating income, i.e. your cap rate. Uh, if you don't have money to put down, uh, then you gotta look at hard money. There's really two different products that we offer. You can do like conventional bank financing where you put you know, SBA 10 to 30% down and the more you put down, the more your liquidity, uh, the better your credit, the lower the rate, so the higher the cap rate. Um, but if you don't have money, uh, you gotta look at hard money financing to be able to purchase that deal. Uh, because on a hard money loan, you can get 100% financing if it's structured the right way, but you're gonna pay a higher interest rate, usually around 13% or higher. So you just have to look and see where you're at. Here, uh, it made a lot of sense because we had the money um, and we'd be able to buy a $3 million asset and only put 300 grand down. That's a pretty darn good deal. So, um, you know, but a lot of people don't like to do SBA because it's kind of like an FHA loan for the commercial world. And usually, um, you know, the, the process to get the loan um, is extremely uh, arduous and there's a lot of paperwork, there's a lot of things that you have to do. And so um, I would say that um, if you're in a position where you can put more money down and you want to get a bank loan, uh, you put 20 to 30 percent down, uh, that's certainly not a problem. But for an SBA loan, um, it starts at 10 percent down. So anyway, um, here, if you purchase the property at 2.9 million, and that means you have a cap rate at 12 percent, essentially what that means, uh, just so we're on the same page, 
Um, that means what is the yield that you're getting on an annualized basis uh, for this investment, right? So here, um, the cap rate translates into $384,000 of net operating income. So that means that, just so we're clear, that the cap rate has an NOI of 348K. Now, you have to look at this and you have to kind of think outside the box and you have to be you know, a savvy investor is that, well, why is that cap rate so low? Why are they paying you know, three managers to run this thing? Um, you know, you know, why are they spending so much money on some of their variable costs? Can we trim that down? Uh, and then also, can we make the park uh, more interesting, maybe adding uh, some nice features that aren't too expensive, but we, maybe we can increase the rent. So the high idea is how can we reduce the cost of that property uh, and add more value to the tenants uh, to raise the rents, reduce the cost, raise the rents, that's right? And then that way you can boost up that cap rate is exactly what we did. So um, I really think that mobile home parks are a great, um, a great way to invest and diversify your portfolio. So if you're looking to get funding for a mobile home park, uh, we'd love to help you with that. Um, you know, obviously with us, our minimum loan amount for mobile home parks is 500,000 or higher. So if you're trying to buy a mobile home park, we'd love to help you. We can do it nationwide. Um, we have a lot of great programs, either through the government side or through the banking side or even hard money. Now, let me give you an example. If we would have done this with hard money, uh, how this would have changed the dynamics here. So that was with the SBA. So if we would have bought this with hard money, the first mortgage you know, equals 1.2 million at 13%. And the second mortgage from the seller equals 1.7 million, okay? and he gave it at a 5% interest. So we know that the park is thrown off uh, 250K, uh, 384K in revenue um, after all expenses. So now we have to calculate if this makes sense um, with a first mortgage paying 13% at 1.2 million. And this, is, this actually is a 40 year amortization. And this is a 30 year AM. Okay. So now the idea behind a hard money loan is you're not gonna be, you're not gonna have a cap rate in the beginning because you see that your, you know, your interest here is 13%. But I didn't put I didn't put three hundred thousand dollars down on this particular program. I bought this with zero down. So this this hard money loan here is hard money. With zero down, and that and that's the big thing here. Okay, it's just the it's just a bridge loan. This is a, a two year bridge loan, right? Just to, just to buy the property because if you do the math, and let's just I'll do the math with you. While I got you here. Um, if you do the math here, I mean we could just look at it and see if you did a we're financing uh, one point two million at 13% on a, a 40 year AM, the payment's 13,000 a month. And then to the, to the seller at 5%, the payment's 8,000 a month. So you have, you have cumulative of 21,000 a month of outflow. Surprisingly, you still have a, some, somewhat of a cap rate, but at 21,000 a month of outflow, um, you're at, 252K of interest expense. So, you know, let's look at that for a second. And the, 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 the art of this is that you can get your cap rate from the seller second mortgage because we have an NOI of 384K. All right, interest expense. 
equals 252K. So now what do we see? You have about 130K net of profit, right? So you still are able to make money, not as much money, but hey, you're not gonna stay on this bridge loan. You're gonna refinance it to go to an SBA or a conventional loan. You just did it to buy the property, then you can pay off the seller and pay off the hard money loan. So, but the key to that is obviously the seller has to agree to carry the second mortgage, um, but it's a great strategy on how to buy a mobile home park with no money down, or if you wanna do it with conventional financing and get a bank loan or SBA. Either way, we can get you funded. I just wanna put the idea out there to start looking at mobile home parks uh, like this one that we did in Titusville because it's an awesome opportunity for you guys being able to you know, boost up your portfolio. And if you think about it, the risk is low if you do it in the right location. You know, it's a desired tourist spot, uh, you know, something near the ocean or in the mountains or something really cool where people wanna be. Uh, so that way you have more long-term stability. So I'd love to help you in any way that I can to boost up your portfolio. You can always give me a call. Uh, we do service um, all nationwide. We do, you know, larger loans. We'd like to stay at least 500,000 or higher on commercial. Uh, but we'd love to help you in any way we can. You can call me at 832-431-6331. My name is Angelo Christian. Thank you so much for checking out this episode with Mobile Home Park Investing. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.